Ok, hello everyone and welcome back to your YouTube channel and welcome to this very interesting video today and we have today a very practical example, numerical example related to calculating the equivalent rotational inertia in a very small system, ok? And before we start, I will tell you that we are considering a very small power system. To be honest, we are considering is basically, basically, we are considering is uh, two synchronous generators that they are working inside a power plant, okay? And the situation is very simple. You can imagine we have here the generator number one, that is connected to this power plant and here we have the generator number two we have here unit one and we have here unit two what is the idea the idea is that here we have two generators with individual inertia constants and we want to transfer or convert that system into a single unit and that will be the equivalent unit. And the equivalent unit, of course, will be characterized by a uh, equivalent rotational inertia. Well, that is the job today. The job today, we will start from this situation and go into the equivalent generator, okay? And without further delay, let's start here. Consider a small power plant. It has two synchronous generators working in parallel. And the data coming in the nameplate are unit one is a gas turbine through 210 MBA, rate power factor 0 0.85, and rate voltage 15.45 uh, kilovolts. Uh, rate, pa uh, rate rotational speed, mechanical speed is 3000 RPM. Inertia constant, rotational inertia constant, this is rotational inertia constant is equal to 7.34 megawatt seconds megawatt seconds per MBA. This machine is 50 hertz and it has a two pairs of poles, okay? Now we have the generator unit number two is a gas turbine and the synchronous generator is 255 MBA. Rate power factor 0.8 uh, rate voltage 15.45, rate mechanical speed is 3000 RPM, and the uh, rotational inertia is 10 megawatt seconds per MBA. Again, 50 hertz, and we have two pairs of poles, okay? What is the interesting question here? As I said before, the target is to calculate the equivalent rotational inertia constant for the two generator units, okay? And in this case, we need to consider that the apparent power base, the apparent power base, S base, is uh, 100 uh, MBA, okay? Uh, sorry, 250 MBA, 250 MBA. Now, the first step here is very simple. We can clear the screen, the variables, and so on. And then we have the input data, 210 MBA, power factor 0 0.85, voltage, rotational speed, and very important, the rotational inertia constant. In this case, 7.344, okay? Then we have the data for the unit number two. And as you can see over here, 255 MBA, power factor 0 0.8, and in this case, the voltage is 15.75 kb, okay? And from there, uh, 3000 RPM, we are using an inertia constant 10, 10 megajoules per MBA, or 10 megawatts per second per MBA, and the base power is 250. The way to solve this problem is very simple, okay? Um, we want the equivalent rotational inertia. We want the equivalent H. 
But the sim most simple way to calculate this is instead of calculating directly the inertia constant, the rotational inertia constant, equivalent rotational inertia constant, what we can do is basically calculate the total kinetic energy. Because if we have n machines working in parallel, the total kinetic energy will be the sum of the individual uh, kinetic energy. In this case, we have only two um, synchronous machines, and the kinetic energy, the equivalent kinetic energy, is the sum of the first and the second. That's all. Now, what we need to know is the value of the kinetic energy of each individual generation unit. And to do that, it's extremely simple because all my students know that the kinetic energy is equal to the rotational inertia H multiplied by the rate power. Okay, that is extremely, extremely simple. What we are doing here is that the kinetic energy in the first generation unit, the kinetic energy in the first generation unit is the product between the inertia constant 7.344 multiply by the rate power 210, simple. And we obtain here, you can see over here, we have that the kinetic energy is 1542.24 megajoules. Then we do something similar for the second generator. We multiply the rotational inertia H2, that is 10 seconds, multiply by the base, uh, by, the, by the rate uh, apparent power, in this case 255 MBA. When we put the number together, voila, kinetic energy in generator number two is 2550 2, megajoules. Finally, using the equation, we calculate the total uh, kinetic energy in the system. That is 1542 plus uh, 2550. And when we put the number together, voila, we have here, <coughs> sorry, we have here, we have here a total kinetic energy of uh, 4092.24, okay? But now what we want to do is calculate the rotational inertia, and this rotational inertia must be defined at a base power of 250, okay? And that is very simple. Because what we need to do is, now we know the total kinetic energy in megajoules, and we divide by the apparent power base that is already known, 250 MBA. When we put the number together, 4092 megajoules, divide by 250 MBA, and we obtain here the equivalent rotational inertia of these two generators working in parallel is 16.3690 megajoules per MBA. Okay, this is the solution, this is the answer. However, if you want to try something different, there are many other ways to solve this problem. For instance, an alternative method is referring the rotational inertia, referring the rotational inertia, the individual rotational inertia of each generator to the same base. If you remember in my previous video, I used this formula. This equation say that the Rotational inertia in the new base is the rotational inertia in the old base multiplied by the old base divided by the new base. And that is simple. What we are doing here is calculating the rotational inertia using the new base. In this case, the rotational inertia for the base of 300, uh, sorry, 250 in the case of generator number one is 6.16 megajoules per MBA. And using the same equation for the generator number two, we can obtain now that the rotational inertia in the new base of 250 is 10.2 megajoules per MBA. Finally, if we know the new, the inertia in the new base, what we need to do is combine using a classical sum addition. And here you can see that the total equivalent inertia, when we sum 6.16 plus 10.2, we obtain here the equivalent rotational inertia of the two synchronous generator as 16.36 megajoule per MBA. And this is referred to the base of 
250 MBA. These alternative methods allow me to confirm that the equivalent rotational inertia in both cases are the same. And as you can see over here, it's 16.3690 megajoule per MBA. Well, I highly suggest that if you have time, please go to my GitHub repository. You can download from there the scripts. And here in my YouTube channel, please go and watch the other videos. And if you like the videos, please subscribe or like. And also, please feel free to leave your comments over there. Thank you very much for watching those videos. And I will see you at the next one. Bye now.